Let us consider a particle is thrown in the upward direction from O, but the initial velocity u dot it will reach to a maximum height h once at a then falls downwards and strike ground level at b dot the path traveled is parabolic let us now resolve u into its horizontal and vertical components as u cos alpha dot and u sin alpha now when the particle reaches at the top at a vertical component of v y is zero dot and v x is v now the particle descent and strike ground level at B where the point is SX, 0 here OB is called range R equals SX. Let T is the time of flight, means time of first strike on ground dot the particle first ascend to maximum height H then descend to B. And also time of ascend is always equal to time of descent. Hence time from OA equals time from AB equal to T upon 2. We have to prove the following formulae. Let us now prove. T equals to U sine alpha upon G first. At B. SY equals UY. T plus 1 upon 280 squared. Putting u y equals u sine alpha n a equals minus g, we get s y equals u sine alpha t minus 1 upon 2 g t squared, but s y equals 0. Hence, 0 equals u sine alpha t minus 1 upon 2 g t squared implies that t u sine alpha minus 1 upon 2 g t equals 0. Either t equals 0 or u sine alpha minus 1 upon 2, g t equals 0. Therefore, t equals 2 u sine alpha upon g. Now at the highest point at a, v y equals 0, equals greater than v y squared equals u y squared plus 2 a y, h. Putting v y equals 0 u y equals u sin alpha, a y equals minus g, 0 equals u squared sin squared alpha minus 2 grams, h. Hence, h equals u squared sin squared alpha upon 2 grams. Now at b, s x equals u cos alpha, t minus 1 upon 2 x t squared. But a x equals 0 and s x equals r. Therefore, r equals u cos alpha, t. Putting t equals 2 u sin alpha upon g. We get, r equals u cos alpha point 2 u sin alpha upon g. Equals u squared 2 sin alpha dot cos alpha upon g. r equals u squared sin 2 alpha upon g. Now at o x equals 0, y equals 0. Let the particle after a time t is at c where u equals v cos alpha, v equals v sin alpha. Since a equals 0, therefore, x equals v cos alpha, t minus 1 upon 2 dot 0 dot t squared. Therefore, x equals v cos alpha, t. Hence, t equals x upon v cos alpha. Also, y equals v sin alpha, t minus 1 upon 2, g, t squared. Putting for t equals x upon v cos alpha, we get y equals v sin alpha, x upon v cos alpha, minus 1 upon 2, g, x squared upon v cos alpha. That is, y equals x tan alpha, minus 1 upon 2, g, x squared, upon v cos alpha.